Hi there! So here's the newly launched Redmi Smartband Pro, which I've been using for almost a week now. Literally all day, all night, while sleeping and actually even while taking a shower. Because that's what smart bands are designed for. Wear it and forget it. But this is definitely more than a smart band. In fact, I'd say it offers more than most smart watches. It's got a huge AMOLED display and I know half of us are just sold out just by hearing that. Khatam. Bye bye, Tata, goodbye, Gaya. If your AMOLED display is always on display is also available. Then 110 workout modes. Yes, you heard me right. 110. And that too, all are available on the band. It's got an SPO sensor, heart rate sensor, 580 water resistance rating, and all that priced at just 3499. What more can you ask for? Well, let me take you through everything in detail. And those who want to know what came inside the packaging, first is the band itself a magnetic charging cable and a quick start guide. All right, let's have a close look at the band. And there you go. Wow, the build quality looks really nice. Very familiar silicon strap. Okay, let's have a look at the back. You can see the Redmi branding. You can see the charging terminals right here at the bottom. And here are the sensors, the heart rate sensor, the SPO2 sensor. Wow, that is a really well built band, really nice. And the best part is there are actually no buttons. Wow, looks so much more clean. Let's just attach the charger. Magnetic charger attaches as you bring it closer to the terminals. These straps also can be changed with third party bands or you can actually even buy extra from the Xiaomi website. All you need to do is press this button and the strap will release. Super simple, really nice. Put it back in, clicks and locks, really nice. So the first thing that got my attention has to be the gorgeous display. We get a 1.47 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 194 by 368 pixels. It has a pixel density of 283 ppi. That's just amazing. Now display goes almost edge to edge with extremely thin bezels on all the sides. Then the color reproduction is simply brilliant. It supports 100% NTSC color gamut. Just as you expect, it's vivid, it's punchy, with super deep blacks. And there you go, I'm wearing the band and let me tell you that it provides a very good fit. The soft silicon straps are very comfortable. Also worth mentioning, the band weighs just 25 grams, which means it's really comfortable to wear to bed to track your sleep. Now the other thing to notice is that the sides don't have any buttons. So how do you wake the display? Well, the simplest way is to tap on the display and the second option is you just simply raise the wrist to wake the display. And the raise the wrist to wake the display is pretty responsive. There you go. It's definitely not the fastest, but not the slowest either and works each and every time without fail. So it comes with an ambient light sensor, which helps you auto control the display's brightness. It's a small thing, but very important. You don't need to adjust the brightness when you're outdoors or indoors. It just adapts on its own. However, you can turn it off in the settings and manually control the brightness if you wanted to. Outdoors in direct light too, the display is very clear, all thanks to the 450 nits of peak brightness. Then it comes with 580 of water resistance rating, so it's completely safe to wear it in the rain, while taking a shower or even while swimming. In fact, it comes with a huge list of swim tracking options, which we shall cover in just a moment. But first, let's have a quick glance at the interface. So you tap on the display to wake the display. If you want to put it back to sleep, you simply place your palm on the display and it turns off. Press again to wake the display. Swipe right to access quick toggles. You have the torch, you have the alarm app. You can't set alarms from here. You will have to use the app for that. Further, do not disturb. Raise the wrist to wake the display toggle. Then this is a toggle to keep the display on for five minutes. Very helpful. Then here are the settings. You have band display. In band display, you can actually change the watch faces and some are really, really pretty. Check that out. For the back, you have brightness. You can toggle auto brightness on and off. Then you have do not disturb. Then you have workout. In workout, there is option to toggle auto detect on and off. The same is available for running and walking. Very, very helpful. Further down, you have pin where you can set a password for your band. Very helpful. Then Bluetooth, it will give you disconnection alert reminder. In display, you can auto lock in five seconds. You can change the time. Then you have always on display, something we all look forward to. Okay, let's see how it looks. And finally, here is the always on display. And let me tell you that it's really bright. So even if you're outdoors, you can easily see the time. 
Sadly, this is the only always-on mode watch face available. Then you have cover to sleeve where you place your palm on the display and it turns off. I've kept it on. Then you have vibration alerts. Then in system, you have reboot and reset. Coming back to the home page, if you swipe right, you can access your heart rate. Is the SpO2, the weather, the workout, and your daily activity. Stay on track. Quick toggles and back to home page. Then further swipe from down to access your workouts, your activity, stats, heart rate, SpO2, sleep tracking, stress tracking, breathing, weather, music. There's a camera app so you can use this watch as a shutter to take pictures from your phone camera, alarms, stopwatch, timer, notifications, find phone, flashlight and settings. Then there's also a list format for all your activities. This you can change from the Xiaomi Wear app and it's a matter of personal preference. Overall, I can say that the interface is really smooth and you won't have any problem using it. Really, really fluid. All right, let's talk about health monitoring, starting with the heart rate sensor that tracks your beats per minute. Now it's been tracking my heart rate ever since I wore it and the results were quite accurate. And the best part is in the Xiaomi Wear app, you can even turn on continuous monitoring. You can set the frequency from 1 minute to 30 minutes. Now there is also an option to alert you in case of an elevated heart rate. A very handy feature, but remember this will drastically impact your battery life. Then it comes with an SP2 sensor to track your blood oxygen levels. The reading seems pretty accurate. And just like the heart rate sensor, you can set the frequency to measure SP2 automatically from the app as well. Now I think both these continuous health monitoring features are very very helpful. However, keep in mind, use this just for reference and in case you see some alarming readings, it's best to get it checked from a medical practitioner. I also wore the watch to track my sleep and the readings were very accurate. You can see the basic details on the watch app itself, like the hours of sleep, sleep time, wake time, average heart rate, while if you're looking for more detailed info, check out the phone's app. Wow, that's a lot. Now coming to the sports modes, well this one is a beast and it comes with 110 workouts slash sports modes. Also Redmi has handled sorting these workouts very smartly on the band. You can see it has about 15 here but you can keep adding what you need by pressing this plus sign. Look at this list. Also really easy to find what you're looking for because they're divided into categories. Similarly you can remove the ones that you don't use so that you don't need to unnecessarily go through the long list. Couldn't be better keep what you want when you want. So I did wear it for a short run and I could see all the details on the display. Now even though this watch doesn't come with built-in GPS, it would use my phone's GPS to map my outdoor workout, which is great. After my workout walk, it showed me a full detail on the watch display itself. Check out that, everything that I could ask for, right there on the watch display. Then it receives incoming call alerts with vibration and it's almost instantaneous. You can see the caller's name with an option to reject the call or silent the ringer. There's no way to answer or respond with an SMS. Similarly, notifications are prompt. You can see the app's icon with the sender's name and read the message as well. All right, let's have a quick look at the Xiaomi Wear app. So here is the Xiaomi Wear app. First coming to my status page, you can see the steps taken, calories burned. If you click on it, you can actually see so much more in detail. Then further down is your workout. You can see all your details about your workout, your calories burned, your distance, average heart rate. Every detail is mentioned here. Coming further down, your sleep tracking where it has all the detail about your sleep tracking, activity, heart rate, energy, stress tracking, how many times you stood up, blood oxygen levels, menstrual cycle tracking. Coming to workouts, this is where you can track your workouts. Use the GPS from the app. Coming into profiles, you can transfer data from MeFit. Here you can see the battery percentage, come into band display. These are the watch faces available on your band and if you come to online, there are a couple more that you can download from here. There you go. There is a huge collection of watch faces. Check that out. Wow, amazing. The only drawback I saw is there is no way to set a custom watch face. Maybe I'm missing out on something but I couldn't find an option to custom set a watch face. Coming back, you have app notifications. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Then you can turn on incoming call notification and alerts, background activity, heart rate, we've been through this before, stress tracking, idle alerts, alarms, weather, camera, workouts, widgets, app layout, you can change from here to grid style or list style. Further, you can unlock your phone using your band. 
Then you have user guide, check for updates and about devices. So overall, I can say that the app is really nice, clean, easy to understand and it's really, really well made. Coming to the battery. So the band comes with a 200 mAh battery and Redmi claims it will last for 14 days with typical use. So I've been using this extensively for over a week and I can say you'll get 10 days easily. However, that would be with always on display and continuous heart rate tracking turned off. Frankly, the battery life on the band is solid and you don't have to worry about it. Coming to the cons. Well, firstly, the always on mode needs to have more options. It has just one digital clock option, which is extremely monotonous. However, the list of pros is super impressive. It comes with a huge AMOLED display, always on mode, 110 sports modes, menstrual cycle tracking, auto workout detection, light and comfortable. It's amazing. It's way ahead than most smartwatches in this price segment. You can get the Redmi Smart Band Pro at an introductory price of just 3,499 on Amazon and the me.com website. It starts selling tomorrow, 14th of February at 12 p.m. It's a Valentine gift. I'll leave the links below in the description. You should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention it down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.